everybody welcome to Nelly's nook today we will be doing um waterproof baby bib um at least i will have an attempt i did a couple of them already and they are pretty successful so um i think for moms uh for teething babies this is really um fun project it's qu it's quick and it's very helpful for you know for the babies that um, are teething right teething and um <laughs> drooling all the time um, so, um, what I need is Peva. I bought shower curtain, very, so very soft one in dollar store. So that's what we were working with. You can see, um, it's a part of the shower curtain. So I, I cut it on the, on the, uh, strips and, um, we will need, I use 100% cotton. So different, uh, different colors, different, um, uh, patterns, whatever you have a leftovers at home, okay. Um, and then whatever the shape of the bib you want, I pick this. So what I did, I took the bib and I trace it on the piece of paper. So that's the size that I want to make. So then I took the materials, and when you pick, when you pick the material, make sure so it's easier for you. You put the top sides together. So I'll do this. And I'll take another one, another piece. Just align them. Line them together. Nicely align them. Take your pattern. So you don't waste your material. Okay, grab a couple of pins, pin it together, and this is really simple. I'm sure the ladies that are sewing professionally will be laughing at me, but that's fine. That's uh, for quick do-it-yourself, okay? So, I take a chalk. If I find it, here we go. So I have a chalk and for this one, I choose, I usually just cut in the half. So it gives me a little bit extra space. And just trace it around your pattern. Trace it around the pattern. It just gives me a little bit more space up. And around the baby neck. If you need anything bigger, you just trace or measure your baby back, uh, neck. But this one is pretty good because I trace it from the bib. Okay. And then I use the zigzag uh, scissors because it's cotton, so it doesn't frail. Just cut everything around. Okay, until we have this little piece. So, you have this side, so this one will be two sides. Then, Sometimes I measure it, sometimes I know, but I figure out that it's easier if I just cut the piece and I try to go a little bit over the neck, neck part, okay? So we'll just cut right, right over here. Stupid piece, let's cut this one off and what I do 
do, I take another pen and maybe I might have to move them a little bit later on, but it's honestly just quick and dirty, but it does the job. It really does the job. Now, I usually leave the bottom um, at the end, okay? So I don't, I will not be sewing this part yet uh, because we will be flipping everything uh, flipping everything over so I start from the side and just go around make sure that you have extra space because the, the plastic will the plastic will move um, and you can move it with it it's really as long as it's nice and flat it's it's okay um, so we will just go around longer and just did a straight line all around and you can just slow down a little bit
so once we have this we will just fold it just fold it in and we will just sew a straight line is done and it's double-sided it's wonderful now take the velcro and you can literally have a double-sided so take the velcro little piece I like to Cut the corners off so they are not sharp. I just put it in. Considering that you have to wash them a couple of times a day, they will do the job. They will do the job. Yep, yep, yep. I know that the bits are pretty expensive. If you don't have a sewing machine you can they are easy enough that you can literally sew them in hand but of course go show it with the sewing machine it's definitely much much faster right so that's all it is we have a velcro here close it off and we have a beautiful beautiful bib double-sided and you can see that, that Peva is here. It's inside. So all good. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.